Hey Adventurers, this is Jerry from Adventurous Jerry Lynn and today we're going to hunker down and we're going to do some hunker down camping cooking. Let's get this bright so you can see. Hopefully that's good for you. Okay, today we're going to make some hunker down taco soup. So right now I have probably about a pound and a half of ground beef. Now I haven't added anything to it yet. We're just going to brown this up. I hope everybody's doing real well during this stay at home. This is the perfect meal because you can put everything that you need in here. going to let that brown up. Now, you're probably wondering what goes in the taco soup. The soup is very forgiving. You can put a lot of different things in there. What I have, I have some tomatoes, oops, some beans, and some corn. Put whatever kind of beans you like. I pref, uh, prefer either the pinto beans or the red beans. But today I got two cans of beans. Let's see. Two cans of beans, one can of corn, and I have some tomatoes. I also have some, some vinegar. And then whatever seasoning you like. I have some uh, all-purpose seasoning. Oops. I got some sea salt. I have some celery salt. Some paprika. Some lemon pepper. Some garlic powder and some pepper. Now the vinegar I like to put in just before we eat, just to like brighten it up a little bit, the flavors. And um, of course I'll add some water in here. Now if you want you could add a taco seasoning, you could do that. But that has so much sodium in it and I try to be careful of um, our salt intake. So I do have some salsa that's left over. So again, this uh, this recipe is very forgiving. And you can either have I have uh, tortilla soup. Uh, sorry, tortilla chips. <laughs> I got some uh, corn chips. If you want to like, you know, scoop it, or you could just eat it regular. And then I have some sour cream and some cheese to top it off at the end. You know, it's nice to be outside back in the camper. You know, it's like I'm pretending that I'm out boondocking. And it's just a regular old night. Time to make supper. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and start adding my salt. Now what I did with the uh, corn and the beans, I went ahead and strained it and I rinsed it off. You know, to get that canned flavor out. Not much salt. And then I'm using the all-purpose seasoning. celery salt, some paprika. I like the smokiness of the paprika. And a little bit of lemon pepper. I don't know for some reason I really like that flavor. 
and some garlic powder. Add some pepper. Mix that all together. What are you guys cooking for supper tonight? While we're at this stay at home. They just extended Indiana several more weeks staying at home. We have a lot of groceries in the pantry. So I'm trying a lot. Trying a little. Well, not a lot. Some new recipes. Now, I've made taco soup a few times. But this, um, I'm just kind of tweaking it a little bit. Um, just seeing what uh, what else we can do to make this taste delicious. What I was thinking was taking like half of this and then make nachos like for tomorrow. But um, I think we'll just leave it all in the taco soup. It'll be nice, thick, and hearty. Last night we got some snow in Indiana. Some places got three to four inches. So what you may hear out there right now, outside the door, the cargo trailer door, is the snow melting from the roof. You know what, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more paprika. Really like that smoky flavor. Yeah, there's like, I'm trying to, where's the juice? There's no juice. So at this time, you would probably have a good amount of juice at the bottom. And you would drain all your, uh, your grease. Because even if I try to drain it, let's see. Yeah, not much is coming out. Like, where's all the juice? Yeah, it's just probably not even a, a teaspoon. All right, we'll put the the meat back in. Again, this recipe is very forgiving. You could put pretty much whatever you want in there. Now, I've seen some people put ranch dressing, like those little packs of ranch, um, and they put it in here. But you don't have to. I'm not. like it's pretty cooked. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some sauce in here. Again, this has got jalapenos. It has onions. And then a little trick that I do is I pour a little water because I gotta put water water in there anyway in the recipe. I pour a little water in the container and I just kind of shake it up so I can get all that goodness all throughout the bottom. Put 
delicious. Warm up that salsa. And see, I didn't have to worry about crying from cutting onions or cutting the jalapeno. It's all in the salsa. That's <laughs> my little cheat for you. If you don't want to sit there, or maybe, you know, groceries are so scarce in some areas of the country, you're lucky if you can get any fresh vegetables. So the salsa performs a couple different helps in here. If you don't have access to it, or if you just don't want to cut onions and jalapenos. Now right now, I'm going to add the beans. I got two cans of red beans. I rinsed them. And corn, one can of corn, and some tomatoes. And I'm just going to put all that in here. You see, it's going to be a good and hearty taco soup. Now, I have the temperature still on high because I'm trying to warm everything up. Now, once it starts boiling, then I'll put it down to simmer. And then you'll want to simmer this for at least 20 to 30 minutes. The longer the better. You know, you could also do this in a crock pot and have this cook all day. Put the corn, obviously, in at the very last, say the last half hour. And this is when you need to add some water. Doesn't that look delicious? You know what? I could almost go for another can of corn. My husband and I, we love corn. And then when you're done, you could put like a dollop of sour cream and sprinkle some cilantro on top. Squeeze some lime or lemon, whatever you like, just to, you know, brighten up the flavors. I to need some more water. Because, again, it is a soup. So there's a number of things that you can have on the side. If you like, you can have some rice. I haven't did that, but you could. And again, you can have some tortilla chips, some fresh tortillas, you know, so that way you can dip it in if you like. You know, for leftovers, you can drain it, you know, and then put it in a tortilla and make burritos. This will not go to waste. And again, at the end, I'll do the vinegar. I'll do like maybe a tablespoon just to freshen up. Put in the comments below, tell me, Jerry, what would you... Jerry, this is what I would eat on the side. Would you use rice? Would you use tortilla chips? Would you use tortillas? Um, corn chips. A lot of people like corn chips instead of tortillas. 
it's all pretty much what you want. There's so many options to choose from. And that's the beauty of this recipe. It's very, very forgiving. And see, I got through the whole video and I didn't have to worry about my fingers smelling like onions or jalapenos. Now, of course, I could have used um, gloves to cut the onions. I say this is pretty much mixed together. So we're going to let this simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm going to leave the camera going so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to tidy up. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and share. This. Now, once you turn it down to a simmer, you want to put a lid on it. This particular pan, I don't have a lid. I guess I could use a cookie sheet, but um, just for today purposes, just to show you, um, I'm just going to leave it as is. But if you were using a crock pot obviously you would have the lid on and um, but I bought this pan and it didn't come with the lid so yeah I guess I could use foil too on top all right we're gonna turn this down to a simmer since we got a good boil and again you want to simmer it for maybe you know 20 30 minutes obviously the longer the better because then all your your flavors will marry all together and it'll it'll just taste delicious. All right, we'll let that cook while I continue to tidy up. All right, so what we're gonna do is just do a cap full of vinegar. And like I said, this is just gonna wake up the flavors. Just like a little dab of douille. You don't need much. All right, I say we're time to it's time to eat. So we got some sour cream and some cheese. I got my favorite soda on the side. So I'm going to keep going to keep that on low. And we're going to sample You know, usually the chef eats last, but today, 
The chef gets to eat first. All right. Nice two spoonfuls. We're gonna get a dollops of sour cream. Oh, well, let me show you what it looks like first. So there's mine. Do a dollop of sour cream in the middle. And today we're gonna do medium cheddar mix that all together Again, this is just a sample because I want to make sure before I serve it to everybody that it tastes okay. Give the cheese a chance to melt. For a second. Maybe just a little bit more juice. I guess I should have got the other spoon. All right, here's the taste test. Taco soup. I added a little bit of sour cream and some cheese and I mixed it all together. And again, this is a time for me to tweak and see if, I, if, if my flavors are off. Maybe I need to add a little bit more pepper or maybe I need whatever. This is the time for me to figure it out. Okay, oh, first bite to you. Mmm. That is delicious. I'm going to try it with a little chip. This is a true test. Taco soup with a tortilla chip. Get a big hearty bite. Mmm. Oh, that is good. The right kind of beans, just enough beans, enough meat to bean ratio, just enough corn, perfect. And I didn't miss anything by not chopping up the onions. Didn't miss it. Oh yeah, the hubby will like this tonight. I mean, as soon as I shoot this video, I'll take him a bowl. I like the freshness of the corn popping. Oh man. It's not too hot. I say it's a little hotter than mild. Between the mild and the medium. That was a medium salsa, by the way, I used. It was like three quarters of the bottle. Hmm. I'm get my hammer food. Cheers. I hope you guys are all doing well. Me and my family, we're doing great. We're staying inside. So, when I have to get away from the hubby, I go out in the backyard. 
I have a bonfire. Mm-mm-mm. Boy, you can't go wrong with this. The tomatoes are nice and fresh, along with the corn, like I said, just really make, and the vinegar, it just kind of, uh, brightens up the flavor, brings it all together. <laughs> My happy dance. Let's go back to the food. I want to say thank you. Thank you for coming back every single Monday. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. This is a delicious meal. You can't go wrong. It's a no fail, basically. Put all the things that you like in there and just tweak it the way you want. I thought I would have to come back and add some more flavoring, but it came out perfect. Again, I would probably add a little bit more sour cream. My nose is running because the jalapeno and the onion and the uh, salsa its kind of like kicking me right here in the back of my throat. But I do I do love having my channel. You guys coming back every single Monday. I appreciate it. Again, this is my 75th video. I wouldn't have thought I don't know, the time just flew by. Please send me a like. Hit that like button at the bottom and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. If you're here for the first time, thank you and welcome. I'm Jerry of Adventurous Jerry Lynn. And um, just trying to keep smiles on your face. I've got 74 other videos to choose from. Um, right now, I'm in my cargo trailer and um, more or less uh, hunkering down in our camper trailer uh, it's a cargo trailer conversion we took a 7 by 16 cargo trailer and converted it into our mini RV go back and watch my previous videos you'll love them uh, from start to finish how we did the, uh, the conversion and um, this is this is just a great uh, addition to the house eventually we'll downsize from the house we've been doing that and then eventually we'll move into here the cargo trailer and I love coming out here and cook. I'm out here. I got the door open, fresh air. You can hear the snow melt off the roof. The, the snow's melting. You can just kind of hear it like a trickling. And um, I, I do enjoy it. I can't wait to get back out on the open road. I like to meet some of you guys and, and uh, maybe share recipes. If you got a better recipe for a taco seasoning, put it taco seasoning. If you got a better recipe for the taco soup, put it down in the comments below. And then maybe the next time I make it, we'll, you know, we'll tweak it. Because, you know, again, this uh, recipe is very forgiving. Yeah. So you take care. We'll see you out on the open road. Love you, family. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>